Greetings, friends. Nana Kay from Eastern North Carolina here for the Altered Book Nook. We are going today to show you a series of um, digital journal kits that we have put together. The theme of this kit is called Wildflower Melody. It is a travel journal size um, kit. Um, the travel journal sizes that we make are four. Here, here's a signature, and they're four by eight. So that's what these pages will be folded. Our kits are designed on eight and a half by eleven um, size paper through Photoshop. So you'll be able to print these on eight and a half by eleven paper. However, they can be adjusted to the A4 for our uh, customers in the um, European area. Of the world so um, just be aware that they are initially designed for eight and a half by eleven we're going to start with first of all showing you the four kits that are available on Etsy they're already on Etsy for sale um, and then what we'll do is show you the pre prep work we do before we actually start putting this journal together we are going to do a series of the, uh, videos of how we at the Altered Book Nook uh, arrange and put together inserts and tickets and tags and uh, belly bands, etc. inside of our signatures once we've got those prepped and prepared. So let's start first by just going over the journal page kit, which is the first kit in the series. Um, this is the ad you'll see on Etsy, so be aware of it. And when you're looking for a specific kit that you may see on this video, pay attention to the second line, and this will tell you that it's the Travel Journal Page Kit. So let's go on. What we have on the first um, set is these beautiful sweet peas with beautiful fern backgrounds and other type of um, wild um, greenery that grows in our gardens and our woodlands and areas. Then we're going to come in and we see a beautiful spray of a wildflower garden on both sides. Then we come in and we see the berries with our uh, pink and purple sweet pea or uh, wildflower. Then our beautiful pink uh, sweet pea with a different type of uh, wild greeneries in the background. It looks like there might be some Queen Anne's lace popped in the background of this uh, spray. We also have a basic um, background um, theme that goes with this whole journal. And if you'll notice in this corner is a beautiful uh, crocheted um, joy in the corner there. It's really pretty. Then what, what wildflower journal would be complete without daisies and mums? Going on, we have some poppies into a beautiful spray of greenery and other wildflowers. Then we're going to come to our element, our design elements. And these elements have different designs of um, sprays of um, wildflowers all through it. The watering cans with different bouquets of wildflowers and, of course, some more of our daisies. Then we have the basket in the vase. We have um, what we call ditch lilies in North Carolina. These grow on the side of our ditches. They come in a bright orange or a yellow. Um, these grow wild on our ditch banks, and they help us. We, we, we actually go dig them up off of, uh, off the roadways and put them along our ditch banks in our yard to keep the erosion from um, washing our soil away. So these are great, great wildflowers. Most people don't realize some lilies are wild, but ours are wild. Then we have our books with um, sprays, different sprays of wildflowers, and the beautiful bucket design. Colors in this set are absolutely beautiful. We have our dropped um, teacup, our hanging teacup with a wildflower spray in it and our watering can. And then last but not least in the page series, we have a beautiful envelope with a spray of wildflowers and a bicycle with a basket of wildflowers. So that is what consists of, this is, a, this is the ones that consist of the wildflower um, page kit. And again, you can find that on our Etsy site. Again, look for the bottom down here, Travel Journal Page Kit, and that's what you're going to see. And yes, we're specifically saying Travel Journal, but we will be doing a series with the larger um, journals in it soon. So be on the lookout for that. Our next one, sorry, our next one is our lined kit. Let me get this in the frame so you can see it. This is our, our Travel Journal lined pages. 
Also, still also available on Etsy. Uh, a lot of my customers like lines in their journals, or those that do not, but there are a, a lot of my customers are beginning to favor the lines in the journals. Some people tell me they can't write straight, so these line pages help them actually be able to write in their journal and keep everything nice and neat. So what we have now is a, a lot of beautiful sprays. This is the poppy spray of wildflowers with our lines. And this is the purple um, and pink sweet peas and the yellow pea, sweet peas on two different pages. Remember these fold in half and make this size of a signature. Then we have some of our sprays and our elements mixed in this page. The daisies as a spray. Then a mixed spray of wildflowers. These are really light pastels and beautiful. Then these are a little bit of your darker colors in, to, uh, in sprays. And that consists of our line pages. And that's that particular kit. Again, you can find it on Etsy. Again, look for Travel Journal line pages. The next one we have is a, a background journal pages. A lot of people don't necessarily need the backgrounds because they have a lot of 12 by 12 sheets of paper that they can use that are pre-printed from Michaels and different places that they use as their backgrounds. However, in designing a kit so that people can get a whole kit, um, if they don't have those items, we do um, provide background um, pages for those kits. So this is our background kit and I will go over, okay, again notice down here background journal pages. When you're looking on Etsy make sure you distinguish between which kit you're ordering so that you don't mess up. If you're ordering all of them it's not a problem. If you don't want to order all of them you just really need to pay attention to the second line. Um, we will start with this one and I print these on um, 110 pound um, cardstock, a high quality cardstock. And that reason being that I use um, a borderless print on my HP printer for these. And then I actually paste um, these on the back of my ticket tags and things of that nature to give them more strength. Now, if I'm doing my basic pages, I, I don't, I just print on, on the back of my um, page kit if I want to print this on the back. But we'll go over that more when I start showing you the signatures. But we have the dot, yellow dotted Swiss. We have the beautiful yellow lace. We have the green dotted Swiss. We have green gingham. We have the green crochet lace. We have the purple dotted Swiss. We have the purple gingham check. And the purple crochet lace. We have a pink, peachy pink gingham check. We have a beautiful pink lace, and then we have the beautiful yellow gingham check, and the pink dotted Swiss. So that is the background pages that you go, background pages that come with the kit. Again, that can be purchased on Etsy separately than the other two. And last, of course, not least, but last on this series, <coughs> excuse me is the ephemera kit. You'll see it on the second line. Let me push it up. You can see that on the second line there. This is the ephemera kit. Now, I don't have a massive amount of ephemera with this because I specifically left this sheet, this sheet, this sheet, and this sheet what I call semi-naked. In other words, I just printed a just a basic background on each one of these particular sheets. And the reason being is that you can print these multiple times and when you add clip art or fussy cut items, word art or die cut, different die cuts to these particular ones, you will be able to make them different looking even though they've got the same background. So you can get a multitude and I will show you some of those. You can get a multitude of different tags just out of this particular kit. We do have um, basically these um, smaller journaling cards and a couple of larger ones, but most people already have journaling cards. But the other thing is you can cut your cards the size you want, reprint some of your um, general pages, basic pages, and you can actually make your own journaling cards out of those. Again, these are items and things that we will go over 
with in our series of designing our pages to show you the different things you can do. So with this kit, you get this particular page of, of um, the berry and the sweet pea page onto these particular tags and miscellaneous um, elements. Then we have two belly bands and two tags. This is one of the naked, semi-naked tags that you can actually add different elements to. On our belly band here, and I will show you this right now, I print two pages of these each. And when I print two pages, what I do is I intricately cut out right here. I'm very cautious when I cut the star out to start right here and cut the star out here and cut it out right here so that I don't waste these two. So that's what I do with this. And what I, once I, I, then I glue the star of the second one onto a piece of cardstock and put it on top of his to give me a little bit of a three-dimensional design on my belly band. But what I do, what I do with the pieces left over, this is the pieces left over. See, it fits right there. What I will do is I will make, on one of my journal um, inserts, I'll make a double pocket page so that I don't waste the extra printing. Ink is not cheap, so you want to make sure that you can use every bit of the um, printed material that you use. So keep that in mind when you're cutting these out. It's the same thing with this one. Right here, I was just very careful when I cut that circle out before I made my belly band so that I've come up with another two different shaped little pockets. So that's just a little tip for you when you're having to print more than one time so that you don't waste your um, ink and your printed materials. This is the sheet of the um, journal cards that we've got. There's nine cards to this sheet. So let's go. Nine beautiful cards to this sheet. This is my fancy tag sheet. Again, this is semi-naked. You can actually print this two, three, four times and get a lot of different um, tags out of just this particular background. These are my flares that you can actually back with 110 pound cardstock and make them, uh, stick them on any of your cards or journal pages to bring up, a, raise it up a little like a 3D effect. These are also another one of the pages of um, tags that you can print more than once and just change them around by adding different elements to them. And this is another belly band. This is two pockets right here and here with matching cards. They're in the kit. These are our larger tags in the kit. These have beautiful page elements which are inside the um, initial uh, kit we showed you. This is another series of those mixed um, elements and little small tags with just the sweet peas on the background that you can print several copies of and make as many tags as you wish out of just this one sheet. And these are our medium tags with elements already, page elements already on them and some extra elements on the side. So that is the ephemeral kit that comes with this set. Be sure to go on Etsy and look for it. That's all four sets that you just saw. We just like I said, four sets to the series. I will hope you go on Etsy and um, press the like button. And also follow me on Etsy. Down below here, I would I like you to follow me. If you will, subscribe on, um, if you will, I would love you to subscribe to us on YouTube and help us build our um, population, or oh, excuse me, our popularity on YouTube. We need all the help we can get. We do do a lot of donating to charity. We're supporting um, several um, charities right now, especially those that are helping with the Hurricane On thing. Um, Samaritan's Purse is one, and Blessing something is the other. Um, the one that Billy Graham's son has, we, we support that one. We support Shriners Children's Hospital, and we support Covenant House, which um, provides shelter for homeless um, teenagers that are on the street. So just be aware that when you purchase from us, we do um, donate a portion of our um, profits to uh, numerous charities. Okay, so now what I want to do next, you've seen the kit, and this is going to be very brief because we are going to do, a, like I said, a series of designing this book. But the first thing I do is I do prep, start with prepping my um, cover. My cover is two sheets of 110 pound cardstock. Well, no, really it's three or four sheets. But it's two sheets put together. 
to make give you this extra thickness that you have here. You can hear it. It is nice and sturdy. Um, this particular template is available in along with this kit here. So when you order this kit here, you will actually get this template within the um, download. Uh, you don't have to use this template. This was just for those people who might be interested. I'm going to try to take the zoom out just a little bit so you can see more. Give me just a second. There we go. Move it okay, I'm sorry. But there, that is the basic um, page, uh, the basic cover that we do. Um, to make our covers extremely sturdy, and our covers are sturdy, we, we do try to keep the fact that the customer is going to be um, opening this a lot and turning this a lot in mind so that you get a lot extra strength between these two layers. This is where the layer is glued to this layer. We have tie back. And uh, if, for those of you who aren't familiar with tie back, it's a very strong um, paper like substance that is almost impossible to rip. And matter of fact, even my um, guillotine cutter sometimes has a little struggle going through my tie back so it's very strong we have actually put tie back i think in the whole section of this one which covers it up to about right here it's, it's covered with tie back to about right here so each one of these folded areas have tie back which will keep the paper from splitting the other thing we do to strengthen our cover is i stitch um a, a machine stitch a beautiful design down each of the sides and along the binding here where the um, signatures are sewn in we actually have a heavier stitching right here to keep these it's just to give us added strength and it also makes a pretty design I mean it makes a beautiful design in, in the product too so this is how we start out with our cover this is by no means finished but this is the initial prep we do before we start adding signatures to it and adding all of our elements that we're going to put onto our cover next are the signatures that are made with using the um first three kits not the ephemeral kit but the line kit the basic kit and the background kit this is the um signatures that we I put together doing that so I got two signatures out of this 28 pages each and on my signatures I go ahead and put them in the order I print both sides whatever printing I want on each side I go ahead and do that on my thing as you see I have um, lines in it the line ones I have the basic I have the background all mixed in printed front and back that is why I print these on a borderless so that when I put these on top of these or, or flip mine to, to print them, I don't have any white around it. It just it completely prints it. So that this is how we put our initial signatures together. For added strength on a signature, because there again, people are constantly flipping the pages of a signature, I do a fancy stitch down the side of all the pages of my signature. This one you can't see as well, but when you flip it over, you can see it on the side. I'm going to pick it up. Hopefully you can see it better. There's the stitching down the edge. Um, the stitching is placed about where your thumb and your forefinger grabs your page as you're turning. So that is the other prep thing we do. We get them in the order we want them, and then we stitch the edges on both signatures. So now these are ready to start designing, right? These are already ready. We've got them in order we want them in, and they're ready to start designing now. So that is the next step we do in our preparations for starting to put together the journal. Then I'm just going to move my whole table here so I don't have to move all my stuff into frame. But then... I actually go ahead and I prep my pockets and my journal cards. My, I pre-prep some of my tags. Now, these tags are not completely prepped yet, but we pre-prep these. Let's zoom in a little more. Okay. You can see them better now. Okay. We do pre-prep our tags. And what I say by pre-prep, anything that I'm going to stitch, I go ahead and stitch there so these tags actually have stitching already on them some of them some of them I don't stitch and my camera focus I apologize 
But as, you, as I go through these, you might see duplicates of these. But there again, as we are designing these, we're going to add additional elements to these that are different and give ourselves a variety of different tags made with the same background tags. Um, of course, we're going to add ribbons and different things to these. But this is how I prep ahead of time. This was the two pockets that I showed you earlier with the matching tags that went with them. I have another one. And also, on my um, journaling cards, I went ahead and punched my fancy punch ones, the ones I was going to do any kind of punching on to. We've gone ahead and pre-prepped them, sewn them, and done that. So as you see, we have gone ahead and prepped our journaling cards, our tags, our belly bands. We've gone ahead and cut out the two and made the three-dimensional uh, glue on to give us some good strong belly bands and then uh, the little pockets that I showed you earlier are prepped and ready and they're already stitched then of course we have some um, extra elements in the kit which were the butterflies some of the circles the stars there were different elements that were in the kit so I go ahead and get all this stuff prepped before we actually start putting this together now, as we're getting ready to add a page on and there's more work to be done, we'll do this in the video classes that we're going to teach you how to do this. So this is Nana Kay. I'm going to sign off introducing to you today the Wildflower Melody Travel Journal Page Kit that is available on Etsy. There Again, please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Help us boost our um presence into the um, YouTube environment and also please be sure to follow us on Etsy and also um, Messenger if you would like to know when new things are um, being put out you can catch us on Messenger. Um, I'm going to sign off for now and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this set. We have some other beautiful sets on Etsy. Go check us out. And this is Nana Kay saying goodbye from Eastern North Carolina. Have a blessed day.